Okay guys, welcome to the local SEO module. So in this one, I want to show you how you can actually rank your local SEO site, both in the organic rankings and in the snack pack. So it's important to note that when it comes to local SEO and ranking in the map pack, you need to make sure you've done all the previous steps that were taught in the previous modules. That's because rankings on the map pack are correlated with the rankings of your site in the organic search. So if you're ranking on the first page, you're more likely to get ranked in the snack pack and with more ease as well than if your site is ranking, for example, on the 10th page. Of course, it is possible to rank on maps with your site being on page 10, but the truth is, is that's harder to do. So that being said, what do we need to know regarding local SEO? So it's all the steps we've done before and some extra steps. So you need to create and optimize a listing on Google My Business. Then you need to build citations, which are basically links from company directory links or business directory links. And then you need to generate and respond to reviews. This is just the more important things, and of course we'll be going over some more specific stuff in detail in the next couple of videos. This is just an introductory video, so you can be more in tune with what local SEO actually is. So, ranking factors for local SEO. You need to know that your page on Google My Business will rank based on some certain signs. These ones are proximity, for example, so if you search for dentist in Dallas, there won't be appearing a listing for a dentist in uh, Arkansas, for example. Okay, so proximity is a ranking factor for these Google My Business listings. Then you also have categories, which you can choose when building out your Google My Business, which we'll be doing in a minute or in the next couple of videos. Then you need to, to know that the keywords in your business name are also very important. You might have seen people, instead of putting their business name, the actual Google My Business name, they actually put their main keyword dash their business name. This is a little bit of a black hat tactic, but it does work really good. Uh, but again, it can be reported by the, your competitors. So make sure you don't do this in a very competitive niche, but it does work. And yeah, and there's a couple more things. Again, this is just an introductory video, so you can be more or less in tune with what we'll be teaching you. Then links. So again, it's also important. The number and quality of links, the anchor text to use in those same links, just like we talked about previously. And then reviews the quantity of reviews you're getting, the speed and the diversity. And I'll be going over all of this in the next videos. Then citations. When you're creating citations, which are basically business listings, uh, you need to be consistent with your NAP. NAP means name, address and phone number. And again, the volume and quantity of citations also matters. And then we have behavioral signals, which is the CTR, which means click through rate, the clicks to call on your mobile, because if you're searching on mobile, you can click the listing you can click an icon on the listing that doesn't go to your site. It just directly calls the business. This one is also a ranking factor. Uh, the questions people ask, because if you have a GMB, people can ask questions and you should answer them. But again, we'll be covering all of this in the next couple of videos. Thumbs up on reviews, which people can actually do if they find reviews valuable. Comments on your business listing and a couple of more. And this is what we'll be covering in the next couple of videos. Basically, everything you need to know when it comes to local rankings. That being said, I'll see you in the next video where we'll be going over everything I just said.